everyone. The Inside Look team attended the 41st anniversary weekend of NIAF, the National Italian American Foundation. They capped off their annual weekend of cultural events that feature the best in Italian food, drinks, and Italian experiences, ending with a Black Tie Gala Awards dinner that honored directors Joseph and Anthony Russo of Arrested Development and Captain America. Also honored were football great Franco Harris of the Pittsburgh Steelers and many others. Our team also got to talk with actor Sebastian Stan, the Winter Soldier in Marvel Universe, singer and performer Deanna Martin and her husband, John Griffith, singer and songwriter Tony Rennes, and so many other distinguished guests. Check out the tape. Uh, hello to Inside Look TV. Hello, everyone. We're at NIAF. Hey. Hi, Inside Look TV. Hey, Inside Look TV. Inside Look TV, the yes. best. The best. Uh, Bless you. <laughs> hello, Inside Look TV. Inside Look TV, how are you? NIAF is the nation's most active group for Italian Americans, 25 million people of Italian descent in this country, and we think of ourselves as the group that they collect around, that they can find resources, they can find fun, they can find their, their Italianità, and they can find family. And we bring together people from all over the country, all over Italy, and we celebrate our heritage together. Oh, we have a real celebrity here. They take the real celebrity on. Get rid of me. John bringing in this great young group. You have done for NIAF what no one else has ever done, and you are bringing it to new generations, and uh, we are going to teach our children well. Yes, we right from the mouth of Dina Martin. <laughs> I can't get... What can we expect this morning? Another great night. Another great night. Can't wait to hear Tony Rennes uh, get his award. Yeah, Tony Rennes is going to be here. Yes. Uh, you, uh, talking about somebody that people haven't seen perform live in their lifetime. Right. And here he is, and I suspect he's going to take the microphone for a little bit. I think he will, and he might sing Quando, Quando, Quando that I just recorded. So he's thrilled. And so it was so exciting to uh, see him last night. Fantastic. You've done this, John. Well, oh. you guys did it all. You guys set it up, and we're just trying to continue it. Right. Do you think it's important to support Nia? Well, I, we've been supporting NIAF since we were kids, and uh, we've been coming to this gala since 1985. So it's exciting to see the next generation, my son John Domenico, uh, being here for the first time. So for us, this is really an expression of our heritage and our culture. And what's exciting for me is that uh, once a year, it's like a big family reunion where we come together, we enjoy each other's companies, we reaffirm why we're so proud of our heritage, and then we kind of go back to our communities and continue that spirit. Well, absolutely. I, I think it's like uh, having uh, an annual big Sunday dinner, and this is really what it's all about. Uh, it's a it's a it's a much anticipated event. Yes, it uh, kind of encapsulate you know we don't all live in the same neighborhoods but it's nice to have us all come back together from from all areas from uh, different parts of the country and share our common heritage and our common experience oh quello che mi deve scemere allora sempre rispettare uh sempre rispettare uh, i tuoi uh, antenati, rispettare la cultura, uh, rispettare quelli più anziani um, e queste sono le cose molto importanti, insomma questo rispetto fra generazioni è una delle cose che mia madre mi diceva sempre e poi uh, ovviamente amare la tua famiglia, amare la tua patria e amare Dio. It is so exciting, and look at this uh, pocket square he's wearing, huh? Uh, but to come every year is a, is a treat for us, and it's important to carry on the Italian traditions of Niav. It's friends, it's family, it's a town. It's, yeah. We're blessed to be here. You'll see us, and, and maybe Tony Lopianco. Tony, Tony, we love Tony. Yes, yes. yes. Tony has been on our show many times. 
Yes, oh. we love. Uh, we've done shows together. Yes, yes. yes we did. Yes, we did. yes just in Connecticut, in right? Connecticut, yes. So, you know, and uh, we just we just love being together. These are, these are beautiful people. This is a magnificent, uh, wonderful friend. It's Italian people and Italian people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's just great to be here in Neoff. We we come here every year. I've been coming since I don't even know since uh, I think Christopher Columbus. <laughs> oh yeah, there's <laughs> a <laughs> as far back as Oh that. my gosh, a long time. <laughs> A long time. <laughs> <laughs> the leadership of John Viola that it's going to continue on and even get bigger and better. Yes. Um, we just what had a, a meatball teeny downstairs a little while ago. It was unbelievable. <laughs> well, so it's up delicious. to us and you. And you're spreading the word. Yeah. The, the, the idea of, of uh, bringing young people into uh, this organization is a very, very important to keep the tradition alive. You right. see, that's what we're trying to do. As a matter of fact, last night, there was a magnificent dance going on, and Louis Prima's daughter. Lots of young people. Yeah, Joe. And, and the, young, the young people were dancing. It was just so exciting. The old mood, mood music, the Louis Prima music. That's, they don't have to dance this uh, rap or rock or any of that stuff. They, they, they were dancing. There were a whole bunch of young people out there enjoying being the time. Yeah. So, do you know that you, uh, you have some talents with the Um, everybody loves somebody sometimes. Everybody falls in love somehow. Somehow. Something in your kiss just told me. <laughs> you could go ahead. My is now is right here at Nia. <laughs> <laughs> the champ. Why is it important for you to support Nia? You know what? Uh, they do such great work, and when you look at the accomplishments of, uh, of Italian Americans here in this country, it's it's a great example to the world that that what can happen when when people take the journey to go to another country, not knowing what to expect, and to come here and meet all the challenges and to succeed as Italian Americans have succeeded. I think it's an unbelievable story, a great story, and a great story for many people to follow. And you've been honored tonight, congratulations. Can you tell me how you feel about that? This is a great honor tonight. Uh, uh, when I look at my own story and, and the people that have helped me and influenced me along the way and being able to be recognized tonight for my achievements is quite an honor. So, you're a Football Hall of Famer, and congratulations about that too. What's next for you? What are you working on right now? Well, I love business, and I'm doing business stuff. I have a bakery called Super Bakery, and I have a, a another company called Silver Sport, which is sportswear made with silver. And... Uh, I just love business and so once again I'm doing what I love to do. Why is it important for it, for you as an Italian to support NIAF? You know, my brother and I grew up very Italian American, and we were we participated in Italian American cultural and social groups all of our lives. So, NIAF is a really important and unique organization in our country for Italian Americans, and it's, uh, it's we're very excited to be able to be a part of it. How did you guys start with you know with your vision in filming, and how hard was it for you? It's a good question. You know, it's interesting. We grew up in Cleveland and it felt like we were a million of miles away from the film business. Um, so, you know, we grew up film fans. We didn't, we weren't necessarily kids making movies as we were growing up. 
Uh, when we got into our early 20s, you know, a movie came out called El Mariachi, which was made by a, a man named Robert Rodriguez. He wrote a book about the fact that he had made that movie for $7,000. And that sort of lit a light bulb off in our heads, like, you can make a movie for $7,000? It never occurred to us before. So I think that's when we start to think, started to think very literally about how to make a movie. We started to read a lot of books. We started to seek out a lot of people who could help talk us through the process, and eventually we ended up making our own film. And who inspired you? What kind of filmmakers inspired you? I mean, well, that, uh, that movie certainly catalyzed us to action because it, we loved the film and it seemed tangible to us. Um, but certainly Martin Scorsese has been one of our biggest influences, Francis Ford Coppola, Brian De Palma is a big favorite. They're not all Italian Americans are our influences, but yeah, those are clearly among our biggest influences. So. And what's coming up next? You know, my brother and I are hard at work. We're about to start shooting uh, the next uh, two Avenger movies. So we start shooting in a couple months. We're preparing those movies now. That's been amazing. I mean, we uh, we love working together. It's a difficult business. The hours are long. It's stressful. Uh, there's a lot of pressure, uh, and it's great to have each other to rely on and support each other. And and uh, we feel like we do better work together. I to your brother before as an inspiring fruit producer myself, um, how, how has hard has it been for you guys to get the movie going and getting budget? Uh, it's not easy, especially these big films. The Marvel movies are very complicated. Uh, we're working on both Infinity War movies back to back right now. It's uh, it's about as complicated as it gets. Uh, but you know we're we're digging in and uh, putting our nose to the grindstone, and and I, I think uh, we're gonna get through it. Oh my lovely Stanley when when will you say yes to me? Difficult, but I was very lucky. You know, I I had a very supportive mother, and uh, she always looked out for me. And then I um, I went to a school. Uh, I went to a small private school that was very welcoming to the arts, and that really helped. And then I went to a camp, Stage Door Manor, which also helped me a lot, meet the right people. So I was I was pretty lucky, I guess. Um, but I started auditioning pretty early, and then just kind of kept going and kept at it. Uh, and sometimes that's the most important thing is you just have to persevere through rejection and all kinds of stuff. Who has been your inspiration to get to work? Oh, uh, I mean, any of the actors from the 70s or the 80s are inspiration to me, um, always have been. So. You know, I, I, I got to watch a lot of movies when I was younger and uh, that really sort of solidified my decision, I suppose. What's next for you? Um, I'm looking to do this film in uh, South Carolina, in North Carolina actually, called uh, Last Full Measure in December, which, which has got some interesting actors in it, which uh, I can't reveal yet, but it, it should be fun. Bellissimo! What a weekend we had at NIAF. The National Italian American Foundation was founded in 1975 in order to provide the nation's Italian American community with an organized voice in the United States. The National Italian American Foundation is a nonprofit, nonpartisan group that provides educational programs, promotes Italian American culture and, and heritage. NIAF serves as a resource to the Italian American community and has educational and youth programs including scholarships, 
grants, heritage travel, and mentoring. We thank them for inviting us. It was so great to be there. On behalf of the Inside Look TV team, I'm your host, Jane Ruby. Be seeing you next time.